Hey guys, it's Dwayne Huff with Band Leadership Seminars, and in this video, we're going to continue the conversation about setting the example, setting the right example um, for your peers, and setting the tone as a leader, whether you're a current leader, a past leader, or an aspiring leader, excuse me, aspiring leader, it's so important right now in this time when you're in concert band, when you're in jazz band, when you're in solo and ensemble, when you're, when you're in this part of the year where you're not in marching band, to set the tone for leadership so that when marching band rolls around again, you're ready to go and everybody is seeing you and viewing you as a leader. So in the last video, we talked about how your attitude uh, can shape the example that you set for your peers or don't set for your peers. In the video before that, we talked about making those connections. But today, uh, it's, it's quick, simple, and it's easy. Setting the example, one of the greatest opportunities that you have to set an example right now for your peers is in the way that you choose to practice. Now, one of the biggest indicators of someone who's worthy of being a leader and leading peers is to set the example and to set the tone and to set the pace for practicing. Now listen, if anybody hates to practice, even to this day, it's me. I love to perform, I hate to practice, but guess what? The more we practice, the better we get, and if we'll slow things down, isolate the things that are giving us a challenge, and work through them diligently, you know as well as I do that that work and that effort pays off. In fact, um, there are probably things right now, I'll just prove this to you, if you go uh, right now and you start playing your part that you played in your marching band show this past season, I bet you still by memory, and we're a couple of months removed here, uh, you couldn't mess up the music if you tried. It's locked into your fingers, which is proof that the more you practice and the more repetition, repetition you go through, the more it's gonna stay in your fingers and create that muscle memory. And I just want you to take that forward as you practice um, uh, this, this season as you're in concert and jazz band. Take the time. Be consistent, whether that's 30 minutes a day, 45 minutes a day, an hour a day hopefully. Sit down, practice, slow it down, go through the process. Because not only is it making you stronger as a musician, but it's gonna give you two more advantages as a leader. Number one, it's gonna set the example for your peers. Number two, it's going to put you in a position where you can help other people work through the challenges of the music that they're playing. Um, and then number three, it's going to help you be seen in the light by your peers as somebody who's worthy of leadership, who they trust, who they respect, and they want to follow. You might not be the best musician, you might not be the best player, but you're the most committed, you're the most dedicated, and you're the most willing to help other people succeed and share what you know. But if you don't practice your part, and if you don't really dive into the music, you don't have that, um, that expertise and the benefit of being able to help others do it. So just remember, no matter what the music is, no matter what the season is, whether it's concert, jazz, or marching band season, the best thing you can do if you want to be a truly effective leader and uh, be someone who's worthy of being called a leader and have other people follow them, set the tone, set the example, practice more than anybody else, hustle harder than anybody else, dedicate yourself more insistently to that practice routine than anybody else, and I promise you, your band director, your assistant band director, the field staff, uh, and your peers, most importantly, especially the ones in your section, are going to look to you um, with respect and want to follow you when the marching band season comes. But this is the time, right now. Don't put it off. Set the example. And I'll, I'll share this with you in closing. Um, I remember sitting in a practice um, with, with, I think it was a symphonic band or a wind ensemble in college. And, and I was sitting with a band director I didn't particularly care for, but he said one thing that just really changed everything for me. He said, when you go into the practice room, don't waste your time practicing things that you already know, that you're already comfortable with. That's just a waste of time. If you want, you can warm up with those things. But you spend your time judiciously. Circle the things or make notes of the things that are giving the most challenge. Take your metronome, slow it down, work it up to the pace where it needs to be, and then put it back in the rest of the music. That's the most effective use of your time. And that's the way to make the most amount of progress and feel that sense of accomplishment that you want to feel, that you can go and share it uh, with others. Now watch this. Um, somebody once said, and you've probably heard it before, but it bears repeating. Somebody once said that if you go without practicing for one day, nobody notices. If you go for practicing, well, go without practicing for two days, you notice. If you go for practicing well, uh, three days, uh, your band director notices, and if you go uh, without practice four days or more, everybody notices. And here's why I'm telling this, because if you're setting the tone and the example is a leader, people will know 
whether you practice or not, especially the people that are around you in your band most of the time. So remember, until we talk again, set the example through the way that you practice, your consistency, your dedication, your commitment, and that will start to spill over into all other areas of leadership. And people will begin to follow you, trust you, respect you, and believe in you because they see what you're doing. So remember, until we talk next time, you can inspire superior performance. It's starting to rain. So let me get out of here. You just got to make the commitment, make the dedication, and be willing to serve. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.